so today we're going to go over fine tuning machine learning models in AI Studio. Uh, some of the challenges people may face um, before using AI Studio uh, would be trying to figure out how to best optimize their hyperparameters on a model. Um, also, they could be spending a lot of time on manual trial and error. Um, and the solution, of course, with AI Studio would basically to be to build out uh, or build out your models in um, design view for a more dynamic control over your process, um, as well as using uh, the operator called Optimize Parameters Grid to fine tune your hyperparameters and improve your model. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the demonstration. All right. Um, so last week we went over um, auto model um, to help decide what model worked best for um, for our data. Um, and so after you do that, you can essentially just build out your model in this design window uh, and eventually begin to fine tune it uh, for better results. So we're just gonna start off by bringing in uh, our census um, and then come down to operators and then bring in select attributes. And we're gonna go ahead and connect those. Click on select attributes. Uh, and then for the type, we're gonna go drop down, exclude attributes. And then we're gonna select a subset. And then what we're going to do is essentially bring over any variables that don't really contribute to the results. So that would be our capital gain, capital loss, customer ID, and this. so we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. And then next, what we're wanting to do is essentially bring in another operator called set role. Next. Um, and then what we're going to do is edit list, come um, to the attribute name, select response, and then our target role will be label and select apply. Uh, and essentially we're just building out this process um, and then we're going to add one more operator, which will be the cross validation. Go ahead and connect that one. Um, and so cross validation, so this is a sub process, uh, which basically means that you can click into this process. Uh, you can see the hyperlink here showing what level of process that we're in um, or showing it the level above. Um, but since we're inside this operator, it's essentially a partition. Um, so the way that it's configured is that you have your training set on the left-hand side, uh, which is going to have 80% uh, of the data that we're gonna use to build the model. And then, then on the right is the testing side or the testing set uh, that will utilize the remaining 20% of the data to test the model. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and configure this operator. Um, for this one, we're going to use uh, gradient boosted trees for this demo. Um, and then we're going to connect training to training and model to model. And then on the right, we're going to use apply model. Uh, to apply the model to the data set. And this essentially is going to form the predictions. So we'll just connect these. Um, and so the model, um, so this is essentially going to be the model that we uh, created. Um, and then the TES is that test data 
So that's that 20%. Um, and this is going to, uh, of, of course, evaluate and apply the, that data. All right, so now we need a good way to visualize the results of this. So we're going to use a performance operator. Um, and we're going to use this one here, drag and drop that in, uh, connect to label, and then um, and then for parameters, um, we'll select the, uh, let's see, we have accuracy, classification error, and then we're just going to select a couple more. So absolute error and squared error. And then, and then what we're going to do next um, is connect this here to test and performance to performance. Um, and then we're going to go back out to the process and then connect performance, um, which will give us our confusion matrix. Um, and then we're also going to connect the test. And this is basically going to give us the line by line uh, predictions for confidence values. So now we're going to go ahead and run this. And so we have two results tabs. Um, so essentially, this here has uh, the line by line predictions. And then performance vector uh, shows the confusion matrix. Uh, and then this is basically just used to evaluate the performance uh, of the classification model, showing the actual versus predicted values. So for example, all the time that it predicted no, it was a true no um, over 10,000 times. And then uh, the times that it predicted no, but it was an actual true yes, was over 1,000. Um, so let's just say that we're not exactly happy with the results of this model and want to improve it a little bit more. We could actually come to design, click in cross validation, and then click on gradient boosted trees. Um, and this is basically where you can tweak some of the hyperparameters like number of trees or maximal uh, depth. Uh, but it can be difficult to know if you're helping or hurting the performance of your model. Um, so something that we can use is the optimize parameters grid operator. Um, so if we go back to process um, and then Hold this in, so optimize parameters grid. We can go ahead and pull that out. Um, and then, so what we're going to do next is essentially highlight um, these four operators. And then we're going to just cut these. And then we're going to go inside optimize parameters. So it's another sub process. And then we're just going to go ahead and paste um, the process that we had created before. Um, then we're going to go ahead and pass it out. So we'll pass out our performance model uh, and then test. Uh, and then we're going to go. Uh, back out to process and then connect performance and parameters uh, to the results port. Uh, so now essentially with this operator, we are optimizing the parameters inside um, of, of this uh, operator. Um, so if we go into the edit parameter settings, uh, you can see that it shows every operator um, that we pasted inside of the optimized parameters. Um, and of course, we can see our gradient boosted trees. And if we click on it, it'll show the parameters uh, that we were looking at earlier. So for this one, we'll select number of trees and maximal depth. Um, and then for maximal depth, we'll set the minimum to 
Um, and then the max will just stay at 100. Um, and then if we go to a number of trees, uh, we're gonna change this minimum to say 50 and then the max to 500. Um, so basically I've selected two ranges for these variables uh, that are usually used for improving the performance on gradient boosted trees. Um, and each of them have uh, 10 iterations, uh, which we can see below on the bottom right. Um, so you can see this, it'll run 50, then 95 and so on. Um, and then you can also see at the bottom, uh, it has 121 combinations, not 20. Uh, this is because it's going to run every combination of number of trees against every combination of maximal depth. Uh, and these are multiplicative transformations, and it'll give you the parameters that improve your model the best, as well as what the actual performance of that model is. Um, and just because that this can take uh, quite some time, I do have the, um, the results preloaded. So if we actually came over to say the parameters, uh, you can see that it ran everything. Um, and then if we look here at the bottom, essentially it gives the suggested parameters that we could actually go back in um, to adjust within that gradient boosted tree operator. Uh, and then we could essentially change the number of trees to 410, maximal depth to 24, and rerun the process um, to see the results. And essentially you would continue to do this until you tweaked and fine tuned um, your model to where you wanted it to be. All right, so today we went over fine tuning machine learning models. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at amissledine at altair.com. Just a reminder that you are able to use um, the DA tools uh, with your existing Altair units. Right, so thank you and have a great day.